Hey guys, it's your boy Bradley Forex back again with another video. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And on today's market breakdown, we've got uh, DXY, GBP, JPY, uh, Dollar Yen, AUD, CAD. So I'm gonna be doing like three pairs and our dollar index instrument. So starting on the daily on the DXY, let me just start on the weekly so that we can have like the weekly forecast so I have this highest high here and then I'll have like my lowest low around these areas and then on the daily I have like a value area around this area yeah so I take it as a value area just because we had like this impulse down and then it was a correction here so with which means uh, this correction was holding like too much weight to take the market to the downside as you can see there so moving here I'll be focusing like on our recent prices around here we have this overall ascending channel with our multi-touch confirmation with a clear middle section but you'll see it clearly on lower time frames moving to the 4 hour you'll see like the middle section clear it will be like a uh, one two and then middle section and then move up we're expecting the third touch to go to the downside around that area here so let me just move to the one hour and do my forecast so my forecast will be like pretty 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 simple so here I'll be waiting my game plan will be like uh, on this area here if we break above and then go back to the downside and get continuations so that will be like some dollar weakness or around these areas here for the, the touch and then I see something here let me just remove this three line here I see an expanding pattern around these areas. Yeah. An expanding. Okay. So this expanding has like uh, two touches at the top and two tu two touches at the bottom, and then a an impulse down and then a correction. You have like this impulse down and then this correction around here. So I'll see what's going to happen around these areas just because I don't trade the DXY I only look at it when I trade like dollar pairs so moving to GBP JPY uh, let's start on the weekly also so on the weekly chart you can see that uh, we have this high value area and then the movement was to the downside so clearly this is just a correction to get back to the downside as you can see here so I'm going to cater for my lowest low and go to the daily chart and then on the daily I'm just going to focus like on the current market structures uh, of which they are around these areas here so we have like some type of an ascending expanding type of structure here so what I'm going to do here is since we broke this value area like very correctively here as you can see I'm just going to remove like this three line it was catering for the double top and then I'll move to the four hour and then on the four hour I'll be having this three line around these areas to cater for my double top and then as you can see price is very corrective around these areas we have like a pennant type of pattern so already we have an entry around these areas it's because we broke the high we broke the double top area very correctively we have like a, a pennant type of structure moving to the upside very correctively then I'm allowed to place like a trade around these areas here and then my stop would be just above 
so i'll be tagged into the trade when we break that this ascending type of structure here and then moving to the lower to the low it will be like two two percent and then to this inflection point it will be like six percent and then going to our inner structures it will be like 18 percent all in all or i can just wait for a year impulse down into the structure getting back to this double top and then get like a 68 hour tight flag here and then i'll be continuing with it to the downside so on usdjpy the daily chart you can see that uh, it's starting to get corrective in these areas here and then let me go to the four hour and see what's happening and then on the four hour i have the type of ascending channel here Okay, then let me put like my 90% rule for this pattern. And then go to the one hour. Then on the one hour, you can see that uh, this ascending channel is very long. So I'm just going to filter it out like this. Yeah. When I filter it out, you'll see that we have like this expanding pattern here. And then we have our one, two middle section impulse up, and then we're waiting for the third touch to go to the downside. But I must know that we don't need to get to the third touch as long as we broke like the double top area or the high value area, getting people caught in the wrong side. I'll know that I'll be getting like continuations to the downside from that onwards. So, uh, let me just switch to the M15. And then on the M15, I'm going to remove that relay to cater for that double top on the daily <coughs> so on the 15 chart you can see that we have a head and shoulders pattern the left shoulder here the head and then we have like the right shoulder around these areas here and we have like a movement to the downside already here we have a correction to take it to the downside so it's a left shoulder head right shoulder impulse down and correction to continue to the downside and then we broke the override also we broke the override we are up at the top here so it's also a, a valid trade to take uh, let me just put my short tool on Take the trade around these areas here and then stop would be just above here let me just draw them out like this okay and then my first target would be four percent and then on the 90 percent rule uh, 6.9 percent 6.8 in total and then on a decad of which is our last pair right, i'm gonna switch to the weekly on the weekly chart you can see that we came from an impulse down and then this is an overall correction to get to the downside to feel these lows here so i'm done with that one looks like a bootleg let me just draw out the structures the reason I'm not using a reline on this one is because we already have an angle here. Then we have a high test. Then we have an expanding type of structure to fill these lows here. And then our 90% rule. These areas it would be here and then our overall target would be around these areas. And then we have like a good rejection on the weekly chart and then output a ray line like this but already we have an angle so going to the daily chart you can see that we have like a pattern within a pattern this is an overall ascending channel here it's an overall ascending channel and then we have a push down 
we, on the lower time frames we can get like entries so let me go to the four hour you know that you know that i just i didn't just call you a bitch could be easy money yeah yeah wait no technically so we're on the four hour chat yes i do meet me there tonight so on the four hour also you can see that we have like a head and shoulders pattern uh, the left shoulder and then we have the head and then we have like the right shoulder in here let me just remove it and throw it up again we have the left head and then we have the right shoulder in these areas so the reason why it may be like this corrective in these areas let me go to the one hour and draw it out the reason why we may have like this type of corrective structure it's because maybe it wants to like get back in these areas here so my focus would be like this we don't have an entry in these areas just because it's very corrective my focus would be like this a clear move up double top area and then it would be testing the neckline of the larger head and shoulders in these areas here and then after testing the neckline we would have like a larger impulse correction and then continuation to the downside so let me just remove that and then my focus would be like this double top larger flag and then continuations to the downside then i'll be taking the straight around here stop just above these areas and then first take profit would be in the pattern just because it's a larger flag and then the overall target would be around let me move to the four hour the first inflection point would be here for around 10 percent 10.9 percent and then the overall target it would be 24.9 percent if i'm taking like a long-term hold it would be like 24 percent so and also i see that we may have like a pattern within a pattern let me just drain this back in and we may have like this type of structure here uh and then this would be like the middle section and then we'd have like a one two and then this would trickle back up here to give us the third touch before dropping to the downside so that would be all for this week's market breakdown i'll see you on another video